Welcome to differentiation class. And this is introduction. In our other videos, we'll be releasing a very detailed video on this. But for now, I want you to know something. If you have a function y is equal to s raised to plus 2, and I say you should find the y all over the s. The reason why is the y the s is because you can see that there is y here and there is x here. If I write a is equal to b squared, I can write the a all over the b. I can write c is equal to d squared. It can be what? Dc all over what? Dd. So now, if I, I give you that y is equal to s squared, and I say find dy all over dx, that means you should differentiate this function. So what you are going to do is, differentiation of dy dx, the most simplest way of doing this is, first look at the power. Rule number two, multiply the power by the numerator, which is the s. So if you look at the power, then the next thing you are going to do is bring it down, multiply it by the numerator, which is, which is x. Now, minus 1 from the power, so you have 2 minus 1. So, if you do it like this, you will now have 2x, this minus this will give you 1. So, dy dx is equal to 2x. Let's do another one again. If I give you, for example, that um, y is equal to s cubed, dy all over dx is equal to this. You look at the power. You carry the power, you multiply the numerator, you minus 1 for the power. So it will now be 3 times x. You write the power back minus 1. So you have 3x squared. Good. Now, if I give you y is equal to 4x squared, so dy all over dx is equal to, you look at the power, multiply the power by the numerator, you will now have 2 times 4x times x squared minus 1. So 2 times 4x is equal to 8x. 2 times 4, please. This will give you what? 8x squared minus 1. So you have 8x raised to power of 1, which is the same thing as 8x. Now, you, you need to note that there are some formulas you need to note. I can write that y is equal to a x n. If you want to use formula to do this, now it will not be that dy all over dx is equal to n times a x n minus 1. If you want to use formula, you can use this formula to solve it. But the most important thing for you to note here is if I give you that y is equal to 3x squared and your n is 2, so you times your n by a. So you have 2 times 3x, then n which is 2 minus 1. So you are having dy all over dx, which is this. So therefore, this is 6 x raised to the power of 2. Are you saying it? Good. Now, if we are to proceed, if we are to proceed and so from here, you will now see that we have 6x because this time this 2 minus 1 which will give you now 1. So, which is the same thing as 6x. I think the rest of 1 is the exact same value. Now, 
I want to just run a full polynomial differentiation and we'll call it a day on this video. Polynomial differentiation. Polynomial differentiation. In this polynomial differentiation, it's very easy. You have something like y is equal to x raised to the power of 5 plus x raised to the power of 4 plus x raised to the power of 3 plus x raised to the power of 2 plus x plus 100. And the question will now come find the y all over the x. So what we do in polynomial differentiation is very easy. Still the same way we differentiate the other rest. But the only thing we do here is we we'll differentiate this entity keep plus differentiate this keep plus differentiate this keep differentiate this differentiate this and differentiate this. That's how we're going to be doing it. So what it means is the y all over the x is equal to this five times x raised to the power of five. Then it's going to be five x into five minus one. So plus 4x into 4 minus 1 plus 3x into 3 minus 1 plus 2x into 2 minus 1 plus x plus differentiation of a constant is 0, no doubt. Whenever you are differentiating a constant, the answer, the differential value is 0. So this is now 5x raised to the power of 4 plus 4x raised to the power of 3, plus 3x raised to the power of 2, plus 2x plus x. And that is your answer. Now, let me run one more example on this um, polynomial differentiation. And in the next video, it will be function of a function, um, logarithm differentiation, implicit, explicit. But, um, let me know one. If you have y is equal to 6x squared plus 7x, now I say find the y all over the x. So our normal way of polynomial differentiation, this will times this, it will be 12 x 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 7x 1 raised to the power of 1. Now you have to, this will now be equal to 12x plus what? 7x raised to the power of what? 0. Now, this is equal to x plus anything raised to the power of 0 log indices is what? 1. So this is 7 times what? 1. So your answer is what? 12x plus what? 7. If you want to move it,